In this video, we will be demonstrating the WD Sentinel DX4000 being used as an NVR. This will be done using Camera Companion from Axis. The Sentinel DX4000 and Axis cameras work great together. The DX4000 is a perfect storage target for Axis IP cameras. And it can also host the Camera Companion application for monitoring the cameras on your network. This video will show the installation, configuration, and some basic functionality that is possible when you use the DX4000 with Camera Companion. Let's begin by connecting to the DX4000. This is done simply through a remote desktop connection. This can be done either through the IP address or the server's name. I've already downloaded Camera Companion from the Access website to make installation a little faster for this video. After the installer is launched, you'll be prompted to choose a language. If you haven't already installed Microsoft.NET, that's a prerequisite before proceeding. It's already included in the installer package, and it will install automatically as you progress through the installation. Microsoft.NET does take a few minutes to install, so don't be alarmed that it's taking too long. This is normal. We are going to speed up the video right now through those sections. After .NET successfully installs, the server will likely need to restart. After you restart the DX4000, you can log on again with Remote Desktop. And once you've restarted and reconnected with Remote Desktop, the Access Camera Companion installation restarts. From here, we're going to actually install the Access Camera Companion software. After you accept the license agreement, you can continue on, just the installation path, and a few other options, and we're on our way. You'll notice that this installs significantly faster than the .NET application. So after installation of the Camera Companion, we can launch right into the application itself. As the application comes up, Camera Companion will prompt you for a username or an email that you use to register your cameras. If you haven't created an account yet, you can register for one at this time, as well as recover a forgotten password right from this panel. Before the installation of Camera Companion, I had already set up an Axis M5013 PTC on my network. And during that setup, I created a site to group cameras into. And right now, if I enter the password for that site, it's going to allow me to address all the cameras within that site or group of cameras. And as Camera Companion comes up on the DX4000, you'll see a live feed from that M5013 that I had just spoke about. That's me waving at the camera. So from here, there's a lot of things that we can do with Camera Companion. So from here, I can see the M5013 that's already configured. I can see where its storage is pointed. I can see its IP address. If I click on the IP address, I can actually go into the advanced settings of the camera. From this point, I'm actually going to log into the camera so that Camera Companion has the credentials for that camera. So there's several other things we can do. We can edit settings. We can go into the network storage. I can actually say where it is that I want this camera to record. This is the IP address of my WD 
Sentinel DX4000, I'm just pointing it to a Samba share, and the share is called videos, and I'm pointing it right to the IP address. I can change the number of days that it records to set whatever profiles I need for that camera. I can add cameras from here, I can remove cameras as far as recording goes. I can also enable or disable audio on a particular camera right from this lineup. So if it's important for me to have an audio recording of a certain area that I'm monitoring, I can turn that on if I deem that it's too windy or it's irrelevant, I can just turn it off and those settings are all right here. From here I can change the time stamp that's on the video recordings. I can also do text overlay so I can make the cameras more relevant as I'm looking at the video feeds that are recorded. So for text I can change it from something that doesn't mean a lot to me to something that makes a little more sense. So whether I'm typing in where the camera is located or what the camera's task is, that'll help with an overlay that's actually recorded on the video. So from here I can actually view the recordings that I already have. From this timeline, you can see this red section where there's been motion. This is from the camera sitting at my desk. The video can be played back. I can also set the camera for continuous recording if that's a surveillance mode that I'm looking for. These are some of the base functions and configurations that you can make from the Axis Camera Companion as it's loaded on a Western Digital Sentinel DX4000. Thanks for your time and have a great day.